Greg Grandin, The End of the Myth, From the Frontier to the Border Wall in the Mind of America. In The End of the Myth, From the Frontier to the Border Wall in the Mind of America, Greg Grandin delves deep into the origins of Trumpism, dating back to America's formative years, and uncovers the significance of the American frontiers myth. The summary explores how America's early expansion, coupled with the treatment of Native Americans, Mexicans, and freed people, influenced the nation's political landscape. Key themes addressed include the connection between prosperity and frontier expansion, the rise of Jacksonian principles, and the role of wars as a safety valve. This insightful analysis will provide readers with a better understanding of how the nation's history has shaped its current policies and discourse. The Myth of the American Frontier the origins of Trumpism can be traced back to America's formative years, where prosperity was linked to frontier expansion, leading to the belief that economic opportunities are limited, not everyone can share in prosperity, and government policy should reflect this reality. The success of the United States was tied to expansion, and the nation's founding fathers saw diversity as one of the country's great virtues. However, the issue of the lives and rights of Native Americans, Mexicans, and freed peoples tested the vision that diversity and expansion were the keys to peaceful coexistence. The Expansion of the United States The United States continued expanding its borders, raising questions about the treatment of Native peoples. The presidency of Andrew Jackson marked a turn towards small government and individual freedoms, which led to the removal of Indians from their land. For Jackson, the best government was one that could barely be detected, unless you were an Indian. This principle resonated with southern states seeking autonomy from northern bureaucrats, especially regarding slavery. Safety Valve and U.S. Expansion In the early 1800s, the safety valve became a crucial component of steam engines to prevent explosions, and the term caught on as a metaphor. Every policy, from territorial expansion to slavery, became a safety valve. Armed conflict, starting with the Mexican-American War in 1846, became a means of uniting a divided nation. Expansion served to extend an existential frontier, and war continued to be a safety valve for Southerners. The U.S. military became both a tool for endless expansion and a means of unification. American Frontier Myth Debunked the frontier thesis proposed by Frederick Jackson Turner nurtured the myth that the American frontier was a symbol of democracy and equality. However, the idea of the frontier communities learning the value of cooperation and fairness on their own was flawed from the outset. In most cases, the government preceded the settlers at every step of westward expansion. Turner deliberately suggested otherwise to nurture the idea that America's frontier could go on forever. He proposed an inward new frontier of public policy and legislation for future expansion. While this did not align with the ideals of small government, industrialists found hope in Turner's vision of new frontiers for corporate profit-making. America's Shifting Attitude The United States has a rocky relationship with social democracy, but it all changed during the Great Depression. Roosevelt's New Deal marked the most ambitious social project since the Freedmen's Bureau. With social security and national programs, the country shifted from taming physical wilderness to subduing social wilderness. Throughout history, America's attempts at progressive social programs have been short-lived. Political resistance led the Freedmen's Bureau to close in 1872 after seven years, despite being the most significant institution of social uplift the U.S. had ever embarked on. The various homestead acts, aimed at distributing land fairly to willing farmers, also fizzled out after being dubbed examples of governmental overreach. However, the Great Depression marked a turning point in America's misunderstanding of social democracy. The realization that the future isn't boundless thrust home, there was an inward focus on the internal challenges presently facing the U.S. Stuart Chase, a go-to economist for President Franklin D. Roosevelt, believed that fighting economic battles at home was the only option. Studying at Harvard, Roosevelt had taken a class taught by Frederick Jackson Turner and was familiar with frontier theory. 
he proposed a new deal that included social security and programs designed to put people to work. It was the government's most ambitious social project since the Freedmen's Bureau. Terms like social individualism were coined to shift the American mindset from taming physical wilderness to subduing social wilderness. These programs brought about national parks, tree planting, and crop sowing. In conclusion, the United States has a rocky relationship with social democracy, and political resistance to progressive social programs has always existed. However, the Great Depression marked a turning point in America's understanding of social democracy. Roosevelt's New Deal marked the most ambitious social project since the Freedmen's Bureau, shifting the focus from taming physical wilderness to subduing social wilderness. The Frontier Focus on Americanism The New Deal program shuttered, a powerful social component focused on the military, and Vietnam War stoked the flames of unrest leading to Reagan's American individualism. Wars have only acted as a safety valve for internal tensions when the U.S. has come out as winners. Nixon played wedge issues like race, sex, crime, drugs, and war before Reagan appealed to small government advocates, white supremacists, and the maximum of individual freedom. Violence and Vigilantism at the U.S.-Mexico Border The U.S.-Mexico border has been the site of violence and vigilantism since the Mexican-American War. In the absence of walls and law enforcement, migrants were left vulnerable to attack by U.S. vigilantes. The reinvigoration of the KKK in the 1920s saw them take on the task of protecting the border with violence, and countless Mexicans were killed in the process. Even the establishment of the U.S. Border Patrol did little to improve the situation, as agents regularly engaged in abuse and murder. Undocumented migrants continued to enter the U.S. to work as cheap labor, eventually leading to Ronald Reagan's Immigration Reform and Control Act, which granted a path to citizenship for some and increased funding for the Border Patrol. Despite this, Latinos continued to vote Democrat, particularly in California. NAFTA, Border Patrol, and Anti-Immigrant Sentiment The book explores how NAFTA, Border Patrol expansion, and the War on Terror failed to address fears of a diminished frontier, leading to increased anti-immigrant sentiment in the U.S. Despite NAFTA's intended benefits, it resulted in displacing rural Mexican families and farmers. Instead of addressing the influx of undocumented immigrants, the government further beefed up the Border Patrol, fueling organized paramilitary extremism in the United States. As a result, anti-immigrant sentiment continued to be a central part of extremist political platforms, as evidenced by the Morietta protests. The Demise of the Myth the belief in the perpetually expanding American frontier has died due to stagnant expansion. The war in Iraq exposed America's violent and racist tendencies, corrupting the dream of expanding freedom. Without a frontier, vigilante groups grew, and building a wall along the Mexican border persisted. The Trump administration's actions make it hard to see enlightened ideals and legislation expanding inward. The southern border wall prototypes stand as tombstones for the lost possibility of the American frontier. In conclusion, The End of the Myth elegantly unravels the roots of Trumpism and the impact of the myth of the American frontier. The book examines how early American expansion and treatment of Native Americans, Mexicans, and freed peoples led to deep-seated political beliefs that endure today. As the frontier myth dissipates, the nation grapples with internal conflicts and failed policies, leaving an uncertain future for America. Greg Grandin provides a thorough and thought-provoking analysis, offering readers valuable insights about the historical framework that has shaped America's decisions and approach to modern-day challenges.